Are there member statements? The member from Windsor to come see. Thank you, Speaker. I want to start out today with a big shout out to the Knights of Columbus in Windsor and Essex County. Twenty years ago, they adopted our local hospice, and they've been raising money for the hospice every year since then. It started with a friend of ours, Mike Aegis. We used to be involved in the Forest Glade Fastball League together. Mike's friend Bill Fontaine came down with cancer, and his final days were spent at the hospice. Mike decided to do something to help others going through the same thing. He convinced all of the local councils to get involved, and since then, they've raised more than $300,000 for a hospice. They collected another $8,500 or so on the weekend. Gail and I were honoured to spend an evening with these community boosters. The Bishop of London, uh, Ronald Fabro, was there as well. And one of the speakers was Andrew Despens. He said the hospice isn't a place where people come to die. It's much more than that. It's a place where people come to live their final days with the respect and dignity they so much deserve. And, Speaker, changing gears as my time is running out, you can't settle a contract dispute unless you're at the table. I'm asking the government to direct the two sides involved with our community colleges to get back to the bargaining table, tell them to sit down and settle this dispute. Don't suggest it. Direct them to bargain and do it this week. The students deserve nothing less. Thank you.